Hey everybody and welcome back to C Sharp. In this video we're going to talk about for loops. Before I get started a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon that really helps me out and an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons your names will as always be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So let's say we want to do something a certain number of times and we don't want to have to keep replicating our code. Uh, so we want it to loop but we don't want to have to have a counter inside the loop that counts up and then cancels out of the loop. So the easiest way of doing that is to use a for loop. And what we can do is we can just simply go here and I want it to say finally you like brown flaggy three times because frankly I just want to say the word flaggy as much as possible. So the best way to do that is using our for loop and to do that we have to obviously start by typing for. And then we have to open some brackets and then we have to input some qualifying statements but what we first have to do is actually identify the scope of our loop which in this case is there there we go so now all the contents of that loop and yeah, to be fair for the sake of being tidy we should move that down to there so now whatever happens inside these two curly braces is going to happen the number of times that we specify in here so what we have to do is we have to say for int which means integer and i'm just going to use the letter i and I'm going to say equals zero. And then we're going to use a semicolon. I is less than or equal to three. Semicolon again. I'm just going to we can space these things out a little bit just to make it look a little bit tidier like that. So we're saying whilst, so this is a sort of a, a while loop in it's worth my saying if I is zero. If I is less than or equal to three, then you'll keep doing this loop. And then all we have to do is say I plus plus to tell the loop to increment i each time it goes round otherwise we we'll just end up in an infinite loop and then if we hold down control f5 give it a moment to have a bit of a think so if i say brown because we know that it has to be brown and it has to be a floggy otherwise it's not going to do anything there you go finally you like brown floggy so it's doing that one and then it's doing this one three times what we could also do is if we wanted to, we wanted to be a smart ass, we could say, yeah, I'm going to put curly brackets inside here as well. Oh, hello. Seems we've gone into insert mode. That's not ideal. Close those off there like that. And I'm going to put zero in here. And then where it says that, I'm just going to say I. And now if we run our code again, it'll do that. We type in brown, flaggy. And it's going to tell us which number of the loop we are in. So as you can see, it's actually going 0, 1, 2, 3. And that's because we started off with i equals 0. If we wanted to change that, we simply change i equals. And we're going to say a 1 there now. And now it'll only do this three times. We're going to control F5. Brown. Flaggy. Fluggy one, fluggy two, fluggy three. So I, I was actually incorrect the first time I said it. it's not actually doing this one, sorry, it was doing this one four times. Now it's doing it three times. A little bit of debugging, a little bit of thinking, and we get around our problem. Now this is a really useful tool for replicating. Let's say, for example, I had a list of classes and I wanted to populate those classes with all default values I could use or int i blah 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 blah. I could use a for loop to fill that up by simply having that statement looped through a number of times, fill the class a set number of times, and then it would stop. So really useful things for loops, definitely one worth remembering. But that pretty much wraps it up for this episode, guys. A nice, quick, easy one. Hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next episode. But until then, you take really good care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.